Hey. hey. So uh, we're gonna start a new little thing. It's called uh, the Reading of Rash. New book by uh, Pete Hotman. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Sarah's gonna read the first chapter, mm -hmm. and uh, she's gonna read the back, tell you what it's about. So Sarah, take it away. Hey. Okay. So. Rash by Pete Hotman. Front cover says, in the year 2074, French fries are illegal, football has been banned, and running isn't just for your health anymore. Dot, dot, dot. Consumption of alcohol, illegal. Football and other violent sports, illegal. Ownership of guns, chainsaws, and or large dogs, illegal. Body piercings, tattoos, also illegal. It's late in the 21st century, and the United Safer States of America, USSA, has become a nation obsessed with safety. For Bo Marston, a teenager who grew up in the USSA, it's all good. He knows the harsh laws were created to protect the people. But when Bo's temper flares at, out of control, and he's sentenced to three years of manual labor, he's not so down with the law anymore. Nobody says this anymore. <laughs> he's down with stuff. Okay, anyway. Bo's forced to live and work in a factory in the Canadian tundra. Uh, the warden running the place is totally out of his mind and cares little for his inmate's safety. Bo will have to decide what's worse, a society that locks people up for road rage or a prison where the wrong move could make you polar bear food. It's the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm going to read you that first. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the safer states of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under law, with security and safety for all. Part 1. The Droog. Chapter 1. It has these little things. They look like Facebook-like things, but they're like pointer fingers. Anyway. Just thought you should know. Get the full effect. Sharp objects do not belong in your ears or near your eyes. Protect your senses. Sam Q. I'm guessing that's one of the rules. Anyway. Gramps was born in 1990. Gramps once told me that when he was my age, the only way to wind up in prison in the USSA, back when it had only one S, was to steal something, kill somebody, or use illegal drugs. They sent people to jail for that? Yeah, but sending them to a work camp. That sounds kind of extreme. No more extreme than putting a person away for littering, Gramps says. Wow. Littering... Littering is only a class 4 misdemeanor. You don't get sent up for that. Mr. Schultz, that was for assault. Melody Haynes got hurt. But all he did really was litter. He dropped an apricot when he was unloading groceries from his SUV. Yeah, then Melody slipped on it and got a concussion. She should have been wearing her helmet. My point is... She wears a helmet. I'm sorry. Uh, but you weren't expecting that either. But the fact remains, the poor man lost a whole year of his life for one lousy apricot. Moral of the story, don't drop your fruit. Then there were five of us Marston's serving time. My father, my brother, two cousins, and an aunt. Most people don't like to talk about their jail family members. It's embarrassing, but having five close relatives in the prison system is not that unusual. According to USSA Today, 24% of all adults in this country are being are serving time. I can't read, which is really bad because that's what I'm doing right now. My family was only slightly more criminal than average. 24%? That's a whole lot. It's like one out of every four people. So, you aren't, but you aren't, and you aren't, but you are. So, sorry, you. You're going to jail. In Canada, in a tundra, with polar bears. Without people like us Marstons, there wouldn't be anybody to do the manual labor that makes this country run. <laughs> Our economy depends on prison labor. Without it, everybody would have to work, whether they wanted to or not. Oh my gosh. So horrible. Given my family's history, I should have known to keep an eye out on my temper. Lose control for one tiny chunk of time and BAM! Next thing you know, you're ripping the legs off shrimp. But at the time, 
Well, if you look at history, you will see that I was not the first guy to do something really stupid over a girl. Ooh, there's a girl. Not, but that's the end of chapter one. <clears throat> Basically, chapter one, you meet the first character. And, well, actually, you meet Gramps first. Gramps is about our age. Like the book said, it's 2074. Bo obviously did something to end up in prison because there's a girl and he says he should have known better. So, see where that goes. I guess we'll find out later. And jails are stupid. They can send you to Canada and Nebraska and Louisiana. Nobody works except prisoners. Stick around. It'll get more interesting, pretty sure.